Hello everyone, welcome to another treasure design tutorial. So this is the previous design I made yesterday and now I am going to do the coloring process here and for that I am going to use the color sample. So it is really easy if you want to do it in this way. I am searching like army design and then you will find everything that is related to army and you will understand the color theme from here. So you can see these are all different colors but they are related to army niche. That's how you can choose your colors. Like this is a green army green niche and this is the brown and army green color. This is the color palette you can use for your design. There are tons of different other colors like here is one, here is one. So I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to take this, copy this image because I wanted to use that color and this is the image here. So first step is I need to extract those colors. So let's create a shape here. Pick the color with eyedropper, make another copy, then select this one, pick this color and then this one. So this is the most, this is the common three colors being used in this design. So maybe one more color I can pick that is this one, but I think that is close to that one. Okay, so this is the colors I'm going to use in this design. Select them and then make them a group. That will be added in your source panel as a group here. So let's start the coloring process. First step is let's ungroup it so that I can select everything individually and then here. So this is the text part. Let's make it one color then this one another color maybe in this color. So I'm just going to keep them like this. So this one I'm going to pick this color. This one I'm going to pick this color. Okay, not that one maybe this one and then this one I'm going to this two I'm going to pick this color. So this much is really fine, nothing to worry about here, but here comes the vector part. So the reason I need to do the vector part indifferently, that is, let me show you. So if I select, a, if I take a rectangle here in the background, I'm going to make it black, then let's lock it so that it doesn't move. And now for using the coloring process, you can see if I select this one and then pick a color for that make it a, make it colorful like this it is going to destroy the look of my design and what is happening here let me show you if i turn off this black layer it is looking like this but on a black layer it is okay maybe not like that if i select this and then make it red you can see it is looking really cool and it is looking very good for that shape and everything else that is fine but if i turn on a, if i put a black background it is not looking the same because this area that is you can see empty area this is the highlight part this is the light part of the design and this color that you can see that is the dark part of the design so if i put a dark background that dark is being masked with that dark and then the light part of the design is not looking very good okay maybe i am sound confusing i'm sounding confused but don't worry let me show you so i need to first of all select this three and then cut it now i need to select this group not that group maybe just this group and then press ctrl b so it is going to look like this and then i want to change that color so that is fine whenever it is the text part or other part it is completely fine to change the color like this but whenever a design is in 3d mode like this eagle is in 3d style there is shadow there is light in the design that is not a flat design then this problem will happen so how to fix that first step is i need to do it like this so let's do it from here so this one i am going to this two part this one this one this shape this shape this outer shape of the design i'm going to select here maybe i will select this color and then it is going to look like that so that part is done but here i want to here for the wing part wings part and the plug part it is not looking very good let's start with the eagle part first so i'm going to select the eagle here Okay, you can see here what is going on. So the eagle is now selected. Now first step is make it black. You can see this is now black. Now I want to create a rectangle here with whatever color you want of your graphics. 
so i want this color now right click transform sorry arrange and then send to back this is how it is looking now when this rectangle is selected then press shift and select this graphics to press shift m for shape builder then press alt and delete delete the outer part of the design so you can see this is how it is kind right now looking and if i turn on the black background it is right now looking cool and this is the perfect way of colorizing your design but here is a little problem that you can see this part is visible from here but we don't want it and the reason it is visible from there is on a on the black part of the design inside the transparency we pasted some shapes here we need to press ctrl a to select them all copy then click here then select this color layer you can see only the color layer is selected open transparency and then press ctrl f that means pasting those exact same things inside the color shape too it is going to look like this same i am going to do for this flux here so i'm going to make it black at the first place then i'm going to change the color i'm going to put the background color whatever i want then i'm going to select them again then press shift m here is that so you can see this is how it is looking and it is there is no problem because that is in the background of the eagle shape so that is fine this is how it is looking right now so let's try with this one so i'm selecting the wings here so the rule is first the first layer should be black and that is black already let's select the shape here make the shape here then change the color send it to back select the wings press shift m and like this it is like this just delete it no problem and here i want to do one more thing that is select the wings part and inside the wings whatever you pasted copy that then select the color color part of the wings open transparency press ctrl f and it is going to perfectly hide from that area that is totally cool so this is how it is going to look right now and that is fine now same thing i am going to do with this two these four i am going to make it a group then come inside that group create a shape here in whatever color you want then select this group and this one press shift m to erase this is how it is looking let's erase this part because that is that should be erased too so i'm going to erase this part on the design so that is good okay so that is done let's click here so this is how it is looking now the problem is you can see everything is clearly visible but these guns are not really cool because there are tons of small details in the gun and that is making it look like this but still it is not looking very bad so i can simply select this one this to cut it okay before cut it i want to just show you what is going on so if i cut it now i want to delete this part press ctrl f here then direct change their colors and you can see this is how it is going to look it is not looking very cool here but this is currently this is how it is looking so let's go back to the original the way i placed it here so this is how it is going to look here and the everything else is good just maybe i need to do some fix here okay no problem so you can see guys this is how you can make it a full colorful design and this is the perfect way of colorizing your design you can simply make it a group then you can bring a copy here just to i'm just going to show you so if i make a copy like this so this is a full color design if i select this group inside this group i am going to select my magic one to select everything that is in this color this color and that other color so i can simply select every color from here then i am going to make them all in this color okay not that color this color and you can see this is how i can simply make it a one color design and i hope this will help you understand the colorizing process and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i will try to answer your questions and that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching my videos see you in the next video thank you everyone